Hey, and welcome back to the second part of our page layout tutorial using CSS with fixed and liquid layouts. Now that we have created our divs from the first tutorial, we are going to take these divs and we're going to style them. So go over to your CSS panel, and click on new CSS rule, and change it to ID. Give it a name of wrapper and leave this document only. Say OK. And let's change the background color to black and go to box and set the width to 760 pixels. Apply and say OK. Now we are going to create another rule. We're going to call this one main and it's going to be an ID as well. So say main. OK and let's give this a background color of whatever you like but I'm going to give it a, a blue color and I'm going to set that width to let's say 400 pixels okay alright now let's create one called left make sure you select ID say okay and let's give this a background color uh, let's say neon green. Go to box and let's give it a width of let's say 150. Okay. I'll create one more and let's change it to ID and say right. Okay. And let's change the background to, let's give it a red color and change the width to 100 pixels. Now that we have set our IDs, we're going to go inside the parent div and we're going to give it an ID of wrapper. There we go. And now we are going to give the first one an ID of left. Let's give the second one an ID of main. And the last one, we're going to call it the right. I can see that it has all the different colors that we've set in here. Now that we have set those divs, we're going to go inside our CSS selector and let's go inside of our main go down here to float and select left and now we're going to do the same thing for the left and the right box float left apply right and right we're going to say box float left and apply. Now, we see what we've done here is made it so our div tags now will not be below each other but they will float. So, that is how we create div tags and we apply some background color styles to them and widths to them and we allow them to float. In the next tutorial I'll explain how we can deal and how we can add some spacing and some more formatting to make this look a little bit better. So if you continue to watch we will dive a little bit deeper into this.